Alright, hello YouTube. Uh, what I kind of wanted to do is a, a video um, that kind of covers how to link, or rather add a shortcut down here um, on the taskbar for a batch file. Okay, now if you don't know what a batch file is, um, and ch chances are you probably do if you're watching this video, but here, let me go ahead and show you this one. This, this program right here, this little batch file that I've got, um, I, I wrote this this is for the actual screen recorder that I'm using right now okay and if uh, let me go ahead and open it up and, and kind of show you what what it is essentially um, a batch file uh, has to run through the command prompt um, in order to basically execute because that's that's just kind of the way it works um, and if if you're if you're in a situation where you know you have a batch file that you run all the time like I do with this screen recorder I run it all the time you know because I make a lot of videos but um, because I can't link it down here it was really kind of annoying me um, so in any case if, if I run this and here's let me mouse over that see it says win or JT's win scap um, this is the and I'm gonna have to I'm actually going to have to delete this here in a minute because it only allows you to have one uh, one link to a command, you know, basically the, com the command prompt. And I'll get into that here in a minute. Um, but here, if I click on it, you can actually see what it does. Um, it opens up a command prompt window, um, and you can see the title up here. It says JT's FFmpeg screen capture script for Windows which corresponds right here and I'm not going to get into batch scripting you know because uh, you know I, one I'm no expert at it I know just enough to be dangerous um, but two that you know it's beyond the scope of this but in any case you can see that it's asking you know for a file name you know a new screen capture file name and it's asking you for it and you see I've got a blinking cursor I t it, when I type it in and I'm not going to do it right now because I'm actually running my screen capture recorder right now um, but I type in a file name whatever I want to call my video and then hit enter it'll say it basically give you a confirmation and say and basically says uh, press any key to continue and once I do that um, the screen starts to record okay um, but in any case that's essentially the difference between you know an executable and a batch file a batch file has to use the um, command prompt window in order to execute more or less um, whereas executables themselves are you know they're fully contained um, programs but in any case um, let me go ahead and close that one out because I don't need to run it but that's essentially what this does um, you'll see th this is actually the command that is given um, all the way through here and, and if you want to you know have a look at it you're more than welcome to um, but in any case um, that's what this does and if I tried to you know drag a you know um, a shortcut rather um, down here to the uh, to the taskbar it won't let you do it it'll give you a circle with a line through it and basically tell you you can't it won't it won't let you it won't let you put it in here now you could create a folder if especially if you run a lot of batch scripts you can create a taskbar folder where you can you know drop um, copies of your batch of your batch file into that folder or you can you know create shortcut links um, and put it in that in that taskbar folder and then you know link the taskbar folder um, down here which that works you know you see I've got one right now for a STO which is a game that I play um, and it's got several different things in here um, but that's if you're running several but like for me I I have this one batch script that I run all the time and I like to have it down here where I can just click on it once you know and go you know uh, in any case but in order to do that let me go ahead and get to how to create um, the uh, the shortcut um, as you can see like this one here and it's even got a tooltip um, that I put in records desktop in 1080p using FFmpeg and screen capture recorder um, that is what I let me go ahead and see if it'll let me uh, yeah I can go to properties um, you can kind of see 
that down here in the comments that's what I put in there I changed the icon um, change the name of it I do that all in here but I'm gonna show you how to do that um, let me go ahead and get rid of this one let me unpin it okay because like I said you're only allowed to pin one link to that goes through the command prompt down here all right um, but if, if you, you look like I said this one links right back to this this batch script right here and I can then take I can take this and pin to Daskbar. See, it'll actually let me do it. I put it over here at the end, but you know, I can drag it over and slap it back in here, and I'm good to go. Okay, which is why I created the uh, the shortcut in the, in my WinScap folder, um, so that if I ever have to, you know, reinstall Windows, <laughs> which does happen once in a while, um, I don't have to go through this this crazy process again. I can just drag it in here. But in any case, let me go ahead and unpin this, and I'll show you how to create that okay the first thing you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to to pin um, a shortcut down here for the command prompt because that's basically where you're starting and there's there's two ways to do this and I, I'll show you both um, but if you go up here you know to your start menu type CMD and that's gonna open up oops I didn't mean to hit enter <laughs> if you type in CMD It'll, it'll bring this up here, and this is actually where you want to go to. Um, right click on it, and then go down to pin to taskbar. Okay, you, you need to do this step regardless of which way you decide you want to do it. Okay, um, if you right click on it, and you go to the command prompt up here um, in the menu, don't click on it, right click on it, so you get, so you get the menu, and then go to properties, okay? Now this actually gives you the properties. This gives you the information you actually need, um, the target, and where you need to start it. Now, if you're creating like I did over here, you want to create a um, a shortcut that you'll be able to drag in here later on, if you need to. This is how you do it. First, you know, um, and it doesn't matter where you create your your shortcut, but you right click, and then go down. You can even do this on the desktop if you want to. But you go down to New and then go to shortcut and it's going to create you see how it created a new shortcut here and it starts this little wizard for you so as an example browse you know the type the location of the item um, no we'll browse it's a little bit faster to, to browse to it I guess but like uh, like for me I'm in my fast access programs go down here to WinScap um, and then pick the batch file okay I'm gonna click OK and then now it's actually given me the address. Click next, um, whatever you want to call it. You know, I'm going to call this. Let's just call it, you know, JT's Win Scap. Good enough. Um, and I'm going to click finish. Okay, so now it's actually created this one here, which is a shortcut. And you you know it's a shortcut because a little arrow right here anything with a you know an, an arrow in the icon like this is a shortcut all right um, so what we want to do now is we want to um, modify the properties so you right click if you didn't see how I did that right click and then go down to properties all right and it'll open up this window here um, what you want to do now in the target window okay um, you're going to want to cut and paste this you know for the the target for the command prompt because this actually says you know basically where um, it needs to open the command prompt because remember you, on a batch file you have to open it in a command prompt so I'm going to I copied it now I'm going to paste it all right um, and in order to give it the command to open to direct it to open this batch file and everything in this you know what's what's held within the batch file you then have to use a switch which is um, slash C and I don't know if this is absolutely necessary but I do this um, I put the uh, the address in quotes it's just how I've always done it um, so and I know it works so that's what you need for the target you, like I said cut and paste this over and it needs to be in front not not behind it okay that it needs to see that first when you click on that shortcut okay and then of course you know put in your slash C and then 
your like I said, if you did it this way, your address is already in there. Put it, stick it in quotes, okay? And make sure there's a space before and after that that slash C. All right. Now, where in the start in box, what you're going to do is you're actually going to take all of this over here. Um, you're going to copy that, and then this you're going to get rid of altogether, and you're just going to paste that right in there. Okay. Now that is pretty much done. It, it's going to point it in the right direction and do what it needs to do. Um, but for me, you know, I wanted to make sure that, you know, I, I, I used, you know, a, a, I've got an icon here um, that I downloaded off the internet um, that I use for my, you know, my, my button down here um, or my link, whatever you want to call it, shortcut. Um, so I want to change my icon. So you can actually go over here and like I said, I saved mine in my folder, which see if it opens it up straight for straight to the folder, and it's this one, um, it's the icon file. So I'm gonna click open, and it sh brings it up in the menu here. You click OK, and you'll see that it changed it. Okay, so now the icon will be this once once I'm I'm all finished. Um, if you want to put comments in, you can you can you know like I like like mine was over here the tooltip. Um, you can type that in here, and you can go in over here, and you can change the name if you if you want in general. Um, but essentially, you're done. Click OK, and you'll see how it changed. So that now I can drag right down here, and I think I showed this to you before. Pin to taskbar, you know, I drag it in here. But see, the, here's the thing: it's not going to let me do it. And that was just proof right there. I guess I didn't. It wasn't intentional, but that was proof because I've already got one in here. So I need to unpin the, it, like I said, it only allows you one um, link to the command prompt. So I need to unpin it, which I did do. There it is. Okay. And then once that's gone, of course, now I can drag this down here and it's going to let me, you know, put that in here and put it anywhere I want. Okay. So that's, that's, a, that's, you know, completely, and I, I really kind of prefer this, you know, the other one that I did, um, because of the, the tool tip, so I'm going to drag it down here, and taskbar, oops, yeah, I love how it always puts it at the end, any case, so that's now down here, and it's now usable, all right, um, there is another way to do this, if you don't, if you don't care about creating the, uh, the link here, there is another way to do this, let me go ahead and unpin this, and we'll start, we'll do it again, it's the same deal, CMD, come up here and create your your link. Like I said, regardless, pin to taskbar, regardless, you're, you're going to need this. You know, that's, that's a step either way you want to do it. And you're going to do it the same way, right click on properties for the command prompt. And what you're going to do instead is you're just going to add the location, okay? So if you right click on this and um, you open up the properties for your for your actual um, oops for you know the location and it's not actually letting me ah, I can't remember how to do it anyway sorry about that what you can do here of course is you know just type in your address and you can see your address right here it's mine is the D drive Winscap and then and then the name of it and remember it's a batch file so all I have to do here really is do a space slash capital C and then the address D and then it was uh, when scap slash when scap dot bat okay um, this can stay the same and of course, you know, like I said, the uh, the comments, it's, it's going to put this up. You know, I can put JT's win, um, how about screen, capture, uh, script for Windows. Sounds good. Um, we'll do that. And then, you know, of course, I want to change the name of it um, to JT's win scap. Um, go back over here, you know, and change the, and, and you can do all the, basically everything you did 
um, in the other one I want to change the uh, the icon to the correct icon that I want to use click OK and now everything's done I click OK one thing that you will notice if you do it this way this does not update until after you restart your computer but if I click on it it will actually open and point in the right direction it's even got the the icon up here but like I said it doesn't update for whatever reason it doesn't update um, until after you you restart your computer just you know as a heads up it's one of the reasons why again I prefer to do it this way um, it just makes it easier for me to be able to just drop this down here pin it and bring it over um, and not only that it's already updated you know so it but you can do it either way hopefully this has helped you out um, if it has please like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for future videos I sure appreciate it guys thanks